Right, oh, anyway, so put the fence in, well, this is take two. Um, for they all know, I'm bringing back the Lone Wolf series, and that will be probably my next video, more likely. So, yeah, right, this is not this video. I was asked a question on an email, and so I'm going to answer it. And that's like that question was, what's it like camping with a dog? Plain and simple, in my opinion, it's easy, easier than camping with people. Yes, I've got more things to worry about. Yes, I've got more things to think about. But with a dog, or with dopey dog anyway, I don't know with any every other dog, every dog. But she carries her own weight because she does carry her own stuff. Um, well, that's it. She carries her own food. She carries her own bowl. Come on, girl, leave. So yeah, and you've all seen her looks like. I've got an updated. Oh, I have. I will be having an updated kit video of Dopey Dog's kit. I've updated it quite a bit since I did that last one, and. So, yeah. Go on. She is going to be carrying a rucksack still, even though she's had three leg operations. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's another thing as well. That's another thing as well. They keep you motivated. She keeps me motivated, put it that way. When I'm like, oh, I've had enough. I can't do any more. She's like, oh, let's go, let's go. So, yeah. Um, what else is it? There's only one con and with a dog in my opinion and that's basically you've got to make sure that you just cannot forget food water you got to make sure they eat you got to make sure they drink it's not like a human sometimes dopey dog refuses to eat but i've got to make sure she eats so i'm gonna make sure it's tasty food she enjoys eating so yeah um sleeping in a tent with dopey dog well, she's done it since she was a puppy, so I don't know what she would be like now if I um, got her now. And we have to sleep, train her to sleep in a tent. I ain't got a clue. I know that some dogs find it quite difficult. I know some people find it quite difficult like that. But she's done it since she was a puppy, so yeah. Um, she doesn't have a warm sleeping bag. She sleeps underneath my down blanket. Oh, down blanket. Down down jacket underneath her jacket blanket or jacket fleece whatever you want to call it so yeah um i think it's good personally sleep um sleep walking with a dog well as you all know i'm deaf and um doggy dogs my ears even though she stops and sniffs every two minutes and what she's doing now <laughs> come on so yeah it's not hard. It might be hard to start off with to train your dog, especially if your dog's a little bit older and you want to go camping. Just do it gradually. That's all I have to say. Do it really stupidly gradually. So, yeah. And when I mean gradually, I mean gradually. I mean, don't just go out in the middle of Dartmoor or the middle where you live, in the middle of the wilderness or whatever you want to call it. And expect the dog to be able to walk miles, or the dog's going to be able to get in your tent. And I think that's because it's not going to happen. Because it took three, four, maybe six months before I actually got Dopey Dog used to sleep lying in the tent before we actually went camping. My walks, yeah, that didn't stop her. We've always been doing stupid miles since I've got her. So, yeah, she's walked miles. I don't know how many years. She's coming up to seven this year, so she's walked since I've had a not quite a distance. So yeah. Right, guys, I'm leaving it here because I think I'm, I'm hoping that answers that question. I think it's a fantastic idea taking a dog because it's company for one and for, and for two. For me personally, she's my ears if I haven't got my hearing aids, hearing aids in. And 99% of the time on Dartmoor, I don't because of the wind noise and the wind noise is so uncomfortable 
it would give me a headache and I don't want a headache so yeah right thank you very much for watching I don't usually say this 99% um 35% of people watching my videos this moment in time are not subscribed please please subscribe jo come and join us at Plymouth Fence we do have a Facebook page and we do have an Instagram page I will be I, I add certain certain things onto the Instagram page and the Facebook page more than what I actually put on YouTube it's just footballs and so yeah so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon and please put the thumbs up thank you bye bye